Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. And I am so excited about today's video. Uh, this is for Danielle, Julian, and Jojo. You guys have been waiting for a long time for this special order Pop Top Echo to get into inventory and it is here. Uh, Julian, you happen to be pretty tall, so I'm really excited to report to you. Um, I measured already, we're about 83 inches long up here and about 50 inches wide. And the coolest thing is you can see everything from all around. In fact, if we pan around, you can even see the video van uh, that does all of our filming for us. So hello to you there inside Avon, who's recording everything as we speak. Um, this is just such a cool van. So down here on the left-hand side, you'll see we've got two 110 uh, or two 110 outlets. Over here on the right-hand side, we have our light as well as our USB ports. So all the power you're going to need. And there's this handy dandy little fan up here on top. So as usual, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you from Frederick, Colorado at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. And I love to start my RV videos from the inside out. So Jody, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take her on back. Um, so today we're looking at a 2023 Echo. And what's so cool about this is this has got the pop top and the extra lithium ion battery. So in two different uh, ways, this coach is very, very unique. Um, one of the things I think this really lends you to is not only do you have a great place for storage or I'm sorry, for, for children or for even adults if you're camping with friends. But you also have a wonderful opportunity to uh, get into a coach where you can actually store things. So when you're inside of an RV like this, it's really important to understand a lot of times it might start raining in Colorado at about four o'clock in the afternoon. Every June, it starts raining. So you can bring all of your things in here and just put everything up top and keep it off of the floor. So not only do you have extra space and a nice place to go on a hot day where you can get that wind passing through, that great breeze, um, all the extra sleeping accommodations, but you also have a place where you can keep your things. Oh my goodness, my laser light's on. Jody, me and the cat toy are, are live today. Um, so let me get my little moon boots on here today. Uh, it's cold here in Colorado, but it is not cold inside of this RV. And one of the reasons is because this is very much an RV that's designed to be an all season vehicle. So you've got these double pane acrylic windows um, giving you extra insulation. You've got a really, really thick uh, foam uh, body on this coach. And I want to just show you this because I think it's really interesting. Uh, but if you look at how thick this portion is, this is how thick your walls are. So a really thick, well insulated coach. And this is a coach that was designed to answer the call uh, from Winnebago clients that were looking to get into something that was more all season. The other thing that this coach does for you is it gives you a ton of sleeping room. So as you can see here, I have a great amount of sleeping room. I also have, uh oh, I'm flipped. Flipped, Jody, I'm flipped. So I have a great little nightstand with a cup holder. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over to where it belongs uh, because it is so neat uh, to see how this works. But you get to put all of these things together. Slide this on back. And then we can put this up top. So now you have a great little nightstand to keep everything in. But if you're sleeping and you wanna have all the room, you just flip this over goes right down here into place. Don't worry, people, I have a stunt double. No, so what's cool about this though is now you have this huge bedroom back here. And not only do you have a great bedroom, but you've got all of Winnebago's great innovations. So for instance, you have USB ports uh, back here on the top, and you also have something that runs from the uh, top of the RV into this bay here. So if you have any kind of Wi-Fi receiver, let's say you've got to do Zoom calls, all of that can be kept up here. Um, and then on top of it, you've got your reading lights here. Really nice, different colors that are available. Uh, so you can read at night. And then you have two 110 outlets. Also a fantastic fan. And then even more storage over here as well. And what's really nice about this is, this is felt lined space. So if you do store things in here, it's not going to rattle going down the road. Um, this is the Veritas interior color. 
Uh, there's Boho and Veritas. I think that this is my favorite. It's a really neutral. It's got a little bit of a sage green undertone to it, but really cool wallpaper and uh, really cool features like these windows. So here's my screen. I can latch that in place, pull them all the way up at once, have my nightshade. I can release that, open it. So if I would like to keep fresh air in my coach, I can do that without having the bugs come in. So really, really nice feature there. Uh, I've also got this great little curtain, so a little separation of space here for privacy. Um, you, know, you know, when you go into Winnebago and you go on these factory tours, you see that they make about 75% of their product. Um, and the reason they do that is because they can really get things um, exactly the way they want them. And one of the things I think is so fantastic on this coach is right here in the middle of the coach. So one of my favorite features of this RV is this great bathroom. So here's your, you know, um, stool room, if you will, faucet. Uh, you've got your mirror for getting ready in the morning. You've got your nice ventilation, your window. Great place for storage up top here for your medicine cabinet. But you know, what are you going to do when it's time to take a shower? We all know we don't want to take a shower outside because it gets all muddy. So we just move this over and look at the amount of room you have here in this shower and you even have a shower curtain. So this is so wonderful. I really think um, this coach gives you so much uh, in the way of you having, you know, this is like having two rooms in a tiny little RV, giving you so much more space for living accommodations. Um, so I, you know, I think that, you know, Winnebago over the years has proven themselves tried and true. They really are, um, in their engineering coaches that are constantly making things better for campers. Uh, when I went on, um, the tour and the Winnebago factory, one of the things, uh, one of the designers of this coach wanted me to do is put my hand underneath this little part right here on this, on this, um, mattress. And he said, do you see that this is a, as a cooling? It actually has a wicking system that cools. So this mattress is cooler than a normal mattress would be uh, when you are sleeping on it at night, helping you to stay, you know, it gets kind of hot when you're camping sometimes. The other thing I think is so fantastic is this fraily bed system um, really makes a huge difference. As you can see, these are flexible, right? Um, and so what's nice about this is when you push down on them, it supports you. So it gives you that extra little bit of give that you would normally get from like a box spring or a really comfortable high-end mattress. Um, another thing that we have here is we've got a refrigerator that will operate at any uh, tilt. So if you, are t if you are camping somewhere where you might not be quite level, that will not affect this refrigerator. You also have this great ice maker up top here. Um, I think that that's just so fantastic. Plenty of room for ice cubes, ice cream, popsicles, little cheese drawer right here as well. Um, oops, there we go. Uh, so, you know, and then also your little, your little space down here where you can separate all of your produce. Um, lots of room here for your beverages. Just a really great space. And then another thing I think a lot of clients are looking for is you've got a microwave. So if you don't have time to cook in the morning, and you just want to microwave, you know, a breakfast burrito and hit the road, you can do that in this RV. This RV is really um, something that gives you a whole lot of flexibility, a whole lot of space. Um, and they even go as far as to give you all of this drawer space here. So for me, when I'm looking for a pantry, I know that that sounds silly. Like you might use one side for socks and such, but you can also use this to keep any of your dry goods, your breads, all of those things. I mean, there's just so much flexibility and it's all so conveniently located. And then down here on either side, you're going to have hanging space or a place to keep your duffel bag, for instance. If you're, you know, a climber, anything along those lines, you need gear like that. So, so much extra room in this coach throughout. And then for your, you know, olive oil, coffee maker, pasta, rice, whatever it is that you camp with, got these great adjustable shelves. So lots and lots of storage space in this coach. And then here underneath, look at all this room you can have for linens, for towels, if you've got beach towels, if you've got anything that you need to be able to store, lots of big storage here where you can stack things. And then great drawer storage here underneath. Uh, you also notice that we have a 
cover for our sink that also doubles as a as a cutting board. So, you know, if you need a little extra counter room, you've got that. You just put that in place here. And then more storage here. Um, also in this coach, you'll note that we have a faucet that is both spray and pour. And it's great because if you've got a bigger pot or pan that you're trying to fill up, you can actually lift that up and you can get everything into that area, even though you're working in a really reduced space. And then this is just a great place to be able to keep all of your dishes. You can stack your plates and your bowls up top here, have plenty of, uh, plenty of room in your kitchen to go camping and really get out there in a very compact space. Uh, the funny thing about this RV is today when I was getting ready for this video, I actually parked it right out front of the dealership in a parking spot. What a rare thing to be able to do that. I have a 40 foot Super C. I can't park that thing anywhere. I've got to find an empty parking lot, a grocery store where there's no one shopping that week, whatever it is, a Walmart. This coach, you can literally pull up, pull it into a parking spot and, and actually fit. Um, you know, in terms of overall length, it certainly is not um, the shortest of the coaches like you would find with Winnebago's Pocket, but the exterior length is only 23 feet. The height is only 10 feet, six inches, and the width is only seven feet, seven feet two and a half inches. A lot of our coaches are eight feet wide. So like I said, for parking and getting around, not only is this car, or is this coach um, packed full of room, packed full of storage capacity. It's also nimble and it's very easy to get into accessible, uh, to get into hard to access places. Uh, so here you've got your two burner propane stove and we'll see this later. One of the things I think is so exciting about this coach is this propane stove is not being operated off of um, a propane tank that you need to go down to uh, and take and get filled at a propane filling station. It actually is being operated by two canisters. You can run both canisters simultaneously. It will run one, uh, and if the other one runs out, it will start the other. You can run them individually, whatever your preference is. Uh, and you do have a quick connect, so you can run your stove here, have your propane tanks plugged in outside. You can run your quick connect to your grill or to your fire pit and still be using all of that same tank storage without having to have tanks in separate places. So again, ingenuity in, uh, by Winnebago is just really second to none. Um, it's important to show you, we have these screens on all of these windows. So anywhere you want to be able to get fresh air, you can. And anytime you want to have it nice and dark, maybe you want some privacy for a conference call. Uh, we have a ton of folks that are working on the road in these coaches. You have all of that room here in this RV. Uh, so you'll see the flying W up here. What is this for? You could hang up a coat there. You could hang up a dish towel. Um, they really put those uh, throughout the Navion product lines. The, all of our C classes have these little flying Ws here and they're really for whatever you need. So I guess it's, it's W for like whatever. <laughs> Jody is chuckling at me. All right, so again, huge storage here. Um, I don't know what you would wanna keep here. You know, there's so many opportunities for you to really customize this space for yourself. And then of course you can get with these tracks, you can go on Amazon, get things to hang your iPad if you want to be able to, you know, watch a movie. Uh, if you have, you know, maybe you want to, you know, hang some dishes up here, maybe just use uh, some uh, carabiners so that you can hang various things in the coach while you're camping. Uh, just really nice. You've got this track throughout the coach. Again, another one of these windows with the full screens. Um, I love these jump seats. These are fantastic to have two three point seat belts in this coach is just a wonderful option. So you can truly uh, sleep for and seat for in this RV. Um, Julian did not opt to have the entertainment system here. So we have a really nice map pocket here and then some great over uh, cab storage on either side here. And you'll note that there's still, there's USB ports and 110 outlets, cable outlets, everything throughout this coach but there's a lot of room here on either side to put, you know, this is a really big window cover that you've got here, but this gives you an idea as to how much room you can have. If you want to stow a jacket, maybe some umbrellas, a, a, a you know, winter hat. Um, and then on top of here, you have a great place for all of your sunglasses, your wallet, you know, in our RV, these overhead compartments are assigned to somebody. So this might be Stella's, this might be CJ's, this might be mine, and this might be Jason's. Keep your AirPods in here, keep your phone cords in here, all the stuff that you're always leaving throughout the coach. Let's get it into one centralized location, folks, so that we don't have to worry 
about um, having, you know, having your stuff get lost. So it's just great to have all this extra storage. Uh, this table, as you can see, everyone always asks what these guys are for. These cushions, when you turn the seat around, allow you to access this table. And if you look over here, there's another table right here at the exterior door that you can also put into place. So you can turn these chairs around and have real seating for four. Um, Winnebago is so fantastic in the way they give you flexibility. And the other thing that's nice about this table is you can use this and actually use this as a stand-up desk. I've got a lot of clients that have said that in working in this coach, they have so much room um, to be able to not only, you know, enjoy their coach for camping, but also if you want to go on a trip where you've got some things to do and you're trying to balance that, you know, work life, um, that, get that work life balance, you can do both in this RV, which is really fantastic. Um, I would encourage you to know we do a lot of work with um, with Cradle Point, which is a great Wi-Fi boosting system. Um, if you want to be able to do Zoom calls, get on the road, get out in the middle of nowhere, that's a cellular-based system. And we also have started to install Starlink. So those are two great options for those of you who are really looking for that nomadic lifestyle, trying to get that dexterity out of this RV. So great, great options here. I want to focus a little bit here on the front cab. I'm going to do it from back here just so we can take a look at everything without me being in your way. But we do have some great new systems here. As you can see, we've got a much larger touch screen. Uh, we also have a benefit of having uh, a push button start now. So you can lock and unlock your doors uh, remotely with a key uh, or you can touch the door. Uh, to get in and out of the coach. Uh, you could push a button on the handle or touch the inside to lock the doors. Uh, you know, we've got these great steering wheel controls. One of the things that's really important to know about this RV is you can access your uh, navigation system from the uh, steering column by using those arrows, arrows. So you can use your navigation, your phone system, all of those features uh, just by touching, oh, I've just bumped Jody, don't bump Jody, just by touching uh, the steering wheel. And so you don't need to necessarily look over here, um, but having this, you know, keyless go is just so nice. Um, I'm going to turn this on just for a break or for a bit. Um, one of the things I thought was really interesting, and I actually was using it this morning. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to hit the brake so I can do this. Can I do both? Oh, there it is. Okay. So slippery. So different settings for driving. How amazing is that? So this coach, you can go into mud and ruts. So for those of us who've been out camping, we know that we need different driving modes. Uh, it's really fantastic that you have this ability. Another new thing for 2023, you've got lane tracking provided by uh, the Ford um, company, as well as the uh, cruise control, which is adaptive cruise control. So great features there. But when you look at this home screen and you see how easy it is to see everything that you're doing all in one place, you've got your radio stations, you've got your navigation up here. And then here, when I go over to this menu, I can actually go through and toggle all of these same features over here in the center console. Um, another thing I think is really nice about this coach is you can set this into a manual drive mode. So if you are somewhere where you want to keep it in first or second gear to get extra traction, it's really easy to do in this RV. Um, so a lot of new features for, uh, for 2023. Most of these features are features that we are finding on our cars in our every, everyday driving situations. So having a blind spot assist having adaptive cruise control, having, uh, oh, one of the things I'll tell you was happening is I was parking this coach and uh, they had a, they have a sensor now that tells you you're getting close to something. So something that alerts you that you're going to be, you know, potentially, you know, hitting a vehicle behind you that you might not see. All of these features are things that we're, you know, so accustomed to on our day-to-day -day vehicles. And it's kind of funny to think that uh, we didn't have them on our RVs, which are much more, you know, cumbersome and, and big to operate. So really nice to have that there. Also, you'll see we've got a Type-C and a 12-volt outlet up here on the dash. And I just wanted to show you, look at all of this room. I mean, all of this room, you know, you might have a nice JBL speaker you keep up here. When you get to your campsite, you can throw it on your picnic table. You've got your cup holders on either side. Um, overall, this cab is designed for somebody who's spending a lot of time on the road in their coach. A lot of the people who are driving these are work people. They're people that are plumbers, they're electricians. So Ford's done a really good job on this V6, giving you the power that you need with our EcoBoost, giving you the all-wheel drive systems. And then Winnebago's taken that and giving you all of the creature comforts that you could want in a very, very tiny package. And for having an RV like this that could actually sleep for, 
I mean, the sky's the limit. You can really get anywhere. Um, the first Echo that I sold left almost immediately for Alaska. So as you can imagine, this is the kind of coach that can really get you out there on the road, and that's always our goal. So Jody's going to turn around and just show you a little bit about our solar controller, our electronics, all of our feeds here. Um, this coach with its dual lithium ion battery pack um, would be best uh, monitored. You can monitor your two coach batteries on the Lithionics app. Um, the Lithionics app is going to give you a much more accurate reading. Um, and I think that it's really important to understand that all of your solar, all of your power, everything that you're doing, if you're trying to run your air conditioning, it will show you how much time you have left in terms of draw. Um, and one of the things I had done some research on because I was curious, uh, you know, what do you do if you don't have a, um, if you don't have a, uh, uh, a, a generator, you know, if you delete the generator and you put the second battery in here. And one of the things that they're showing us is that you can just drive this coach or simply let it run and it will pull your batteries back up. So um, you got, you know, with the pop top, instead of having 455 watts of solar, uh, you have a, 200, a 220 watt solar panel up top uh, charging your Xantrex system. But, you know, just driving this coach with a second alternator will get that charge right back up to full. So. If you're not plugged into uh, 30 amp at your campsite, you can, you know, literally like go down to the grocery store, pick up a 12 pack, maybe head off to a trailhead, come home and you'll be good to go. Um, in terms of how long that battery will last, it really depends on how much draw you're using. Uh, we use LED lights almost throughout uh, the entire uh, cab of this coach exclusively. And the reason we do that is because they do have the lowest draw. Um, but if you're running your air conditioner, that air conditioner pump, of course, is going to pull up a little bit more for you. That's the best thing about this pop top. You don't need to worry about that. Just pop the top, get up there, wait for the nice breeze to kick through and you'll be good to go. Uh, so one thing that we did change about this year is we've uh, changed the position of the screen. So the soft mesh side of the screen is now on the outside of the door and then the hard mesh is on the inside. This is a great feature if you've got, you know, puppies that, you know, might be scratching at the door when they see you wanting to come in. Uh, maybe you just got that habit of kicking the door open when you when you, you know, when you go to push the door out, um, that will help the door have a little more longevity. You can close this though and lock it. And this is the only locking uh, screen that I know of. So if you would like to have all of that fresh air coming into the coach, you can do that by closing the screen and locking it from the inside and you can leave your door open. It's just the coolest thing. Um, so now that we're on the outside of the coach, as Jody comes out, I want to just point out this flooring. Um, so this flooring is so cool. We started uh, using this um, in this industry a while back, but what happens with it is that it's got a nice look to it. It's got a nice texture to it, but it will really uh, stick um, to, if you've got a rug or a carpet you'd like to put down, it'll, it'll hold that in place really nicely. But when you lift it up and you want to sweep out the coach, it's not going to be dirty. It's really easy to be able to wash and you can mop that surface as well. So we like that a lot. Um, in the pop top, you will not have the option of having uh, the outdoor kitchen, which in my opinion is okay. I'm not really a big fan of having an outdoor kitchen, only in that, uh, I don't know, I, I don't want a barbecue right next to the door of my RV, <laughs> so I'd rather take it away. And there's a quick connect I'll show you in a minute that we can do that with. But here's your freshwater drain. Up here, you've got your hose or your shower connection for hot and cold water, so you can use that off of the coach. And then as you can see here, um, this is not just a really sexy little, you know, coin steel floor. This floor has air pockets in it. It's, it's really very much like that of your sty of your uh, of your coffee cup. Um, it's got a honeycomb structure with air pockets inside of it, so providing you insulation not just on the walls or on the roof, but even from the ground up. And what's important to understand about this is when you look at this coach and you see this. Uh, the width of these doors, once again, I was showing you on the window on the inside, this is the foam that you have throughout the entire RV. And it's rumored that there are dozens of garages that are the benefactors of these cutouts when they're not used as doors uh, throughout Forest City, Iowa, and that everyone's got a nice toasty garage. Um, okay, so out here, uh, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is that we have our outlets outside this year. Um, but another thing that we have the ability to do is we can actually plug in an additional solar panel. Um, I was going to bring one out with me today. When, when I went to get it from Dale, he said he just sold our last, our last solar panel. Uh, you can plug in a 90 amp or 90 watt solar panel 
and um, you can move it around. So if you're like me and you're camping, I'm always looking for a nice tree to be underneath. So I might not be using that solar on the top of the coach. So this year Winnebago's give us a, given us an external port where we could plug a solar panel in and move that around and catch that sun. Um, now here on this Truma system, you've got continuous hot water in this coach. Uh, we'll get a lot of phone calls where someone says, oh my gosh, my power or my, my, uh, my water's off, what's going on? You just have to make sure power is up or down, just not in the middle. If you don't have that power turned on, then of course you're not gonna have hot water. Um, also here is, this is the location of the bay. You can see a little bit of winterizer where you would winterize your coach. Um, for me and my RV, I prefer to have the dealership winterize the coach um, in that I just don't trust myself to make sure I do a great job and I don't wanna have anything, I don't want any freeze damage. Uh, okay, so this is the part that I think is so exciting. Um, so as mentioned, there's a toggle between the two so you can run them both simultaneously and they will um, pull off the other tank as soon as the first one's empty. I am probably one of those people that would want to like run one and have you know the extra one sitting aside and then put the other one on so to always know when it was empty. But however, it makes you happy. Um, I have not had um, ever the experience where we didn't have to have uh, someone fill up our propane tank. I think it's so nice. My coach is all electric, but for pro people who have propane, um, I know there's a lot of clients that really like to camp with it. Um, how convenient would it be? We carry a tank with us so that we can run our um, Outlander fire pit and our barbecue, but just to have a quick connect right here off the party side of the bus, allowing you to have uh, you know all of your uh, gear without having to have a separate tank. That's just such a cool thing. And then I also wanted to point out on this awning, um, so this awning is lit. So you have a, a number of different lights out here, but when you put out this carefree awning, uh, there's also an app for the carefree awning. So that would certainly behoove you to consider um, getting that, like I said, Lithionics application downloaded onto your phone, get the carefree awning app onto your phone, get the Winnebago app on your phone, um, and then get ready to go camping because look at all of this storage. This is really the biggest difference maker in this coach. Uh, when this came out, um, I had built my own RV in 2014 with a gear garage in it. Um, I built it on a Sprinter chassis, had a four foot wide garage and very small accommodations. It actually looked a lot like a Rebel on the inside. It was a 170 chassis instead of the 144. Uh, but by the time I put that gear garage on the, on the inside or on the back of it, it was really very similar. I had nothing like this. So this, this garage has got uh, 110 outlets on both the uh, driver and passenger side with US, with, uh, I'm sorry, with nine volt uh, power outlets. So if you want to plug in your, um, what do you call it, your uh, air pump for your paddle board, you can do that. As you can see, this is plenty of room to be able to keep a bike. I forgot to bring my measuring tape. I should have done that. Um, I know that there's specific specifications online, but I do think it's nice to be able to have someone measure things for you. We've got these little puck lights that turn on, so you've got light in here at night. And then there's also uh, the C channel in here where you can actually move these little latches up and down. So you can have carabiners that you're using to tie things down here, or you can use it on your module panel here. So this Molly panel is designed um, by Winnebago to be able to hang things on. So you can keep all of your helmets up. You can keep, you know, your, your air pump for your bike tires, you know, an extra set of tires, all those things here. And then uh, one of the nicer things too that you'll note, there's a lot of this really um, durable black uh, steel all throughout this coach. Again, Winnebago makes about 75% of their product. And one of the things that they do is they use something called e-coating, where instead of painting this product, they're actually submerging it in 10 different sections. Um, and as it goes through, it gets coated with more and more paint on it. And what's so nice about it is it's not gonna corrode over time. It's gonna make it much more rust resistant, but they can also get these shapes down so they have exactly what they need throughout the coach to be able to create these you know, great little compartments where you have um, you know, so much more storage just to have such a nice shelf there, whether it be for your snowboard or for your skis. I mean, just really quite amazing. And then when we get back here into our water bay, one of the things I really like about this coach a lot is first and foremost, this is for your fresh water and gray water, right? Um, so you don't have to worry about your black water being tied into that. 
Uh, when you are loading your city water, you can run your hose here. It goes right down through the grommet so you can keep the critters out from inside of the coach. As you can see, you also have an outdoor shower connection here. Um, and then you've got a potable water fill station here as well. Um, but so this outdoor shower connection is so nice because if you want to rinse off, you know, your paddleboard before you pack everything up, you can do that. Um, as I just said earlier, I'm not a really big fan of taking a shower outside of the coach because I think you make mud. But I'll tell you, one of the things that's really nice is when you're getting ready to pack up and you want to rinse stuff off before you put it away, that way you don't have to take it all out and do it again when you get home. This is a really great system. The other thing I think is fantastic is you can see here's for dry camping, here's power, here's power fill tank, here's winterizing, here's sanitizing, here's city water. They show you which direction to turn these little knobs so that you always have everything right. Uh, and then, you know, like where it says pump for your water pump, cables, satellite, all of these things, tank flush, they're not just painted on here. They're actually part of this uh, plastic cover so they'll never wear off. So really, really cool uh, feature here. Also nice to have a place to hang maybe a you know a set of gloves, a washcloth, a towel, whatever you might need out here. So again, Winnebago making the best use of all the little spaces. Uh, here's that 30 amp uh, connector. So this is where you get your shore power. And I think you saw that cord back there. And then here we have, again, what I think is such a nice feature, the ability to add a solar panel that you can drag around your campsite and actually get your, um, get your, uh, your sun wherever you can find it best. Um, this year they also added some window uh, or some wheel well covers uh, on the inside of the coach. That was uh, just due to customer feedback. They eliminated the step here, so you'll notice that you don't have the, uh, the little running board. I think people didn't like that. Um, my experience with the running board was that it actually um, got on the back of my legs, so it was. it's nice that it's not there anymore. And this is a very easy threshold to get in. As you can see, like getting up into this coach, you don't really need another step. That's a pretty simple step. Um, okay, so back to RV. Um, another little storage bay underneath here. Another one of the features, so one of the things that I did when I bought my uh, Sprinter van and turned it into a coach is I had a porta potty. So I didn't have this much of a luxury. Um, we had a 40 flush, um, but this is such a great feature. Okay, let's say it's been a long camping trip. You get home, there's a storm coming in, the RV's already winterized. Grab this, take it inside, throw it in the garage, dump it. You can go ahead, clean it later, bring it back, throw it together. It's, you don't have to worry about having something like this full and exploding in your coach. You can literally remove it and bring it to a warm area. The other thing that's nice about these, uh, the situation here is that when it comes time to empty this, you don't have to take this to a dump station. You can take this to a truck stop. You could go into McDonald's bathroom. Might be a little gross, but you could do that. I mean, seriously, like it's just crazy um, as to how convenient this is. And of course, with that handle and it being on wheels, it's easy for you to take it to wherever you need to go if it gets a little bit heavy. Someone said, what happens if it gets too heavy? I was like, well, then just change it more frequently. I don't know. <laughs> but I just think that that's one of the best features of this coach. One of the things that really makes it an all season coach, you can have it winterized, pull that bad boy out, make sure it's empty and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff while you're on your trip. Um, here we'll see, this is a really nice opportunity to be able to show you. First of all, the new uh, pump for the shower is down here. We took the inverter out of this compartment and put it inside of the coach. And then here are your uh, two Lithionics batteries. Uh, what's so cool about this is this is, you know, a really huge amount of power. So, um, you know, you've got your 50 gallon uh, fresh water tank. You've got your 51 gallon gray water tank. Um, you've got your, you know, your solar on top, as I mentioned, it goes down um, when you have to 220 from 455. But here in this Lithionics compartment, you went from 320 amp hours to uh to 640 amp hours of um of uh of power with that lithionics package so those two batteries uh that equals 8200 watt hours um and what that means for you is you know one of the things we talk about all the time with rvs is batteries are nothing but storage this coach can power your air conditioning and take you down the road you can pull up at a campsite have your dog inside leave your AC on, go for an hour and a half, two hour long hike, 
and come back to your coach with your refrigerator on, your dog nice and cool, the coach ready to rock and roll. So this really gives you that dexterity that you don't have um, on the road with some of these bigger RVs because you need to be plugged in there, really using a lot of juice. Um, so I, you know, I applaud Winnebago for getting people into a coach that gets them out there on the road. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, um, just super simple because this is a workman's truck. So here's your gas tank. It's right outside of your door. Your seats are, hi are highly adjustable through these very, you know, old fashioned, you know, manual, you know, applications, but there's just not a lot of things that are complicated about this coach. Not a lot of things to break. It's going to give you great longevity. Um, there's a ton of storage up here in the drawer or in the door as well. As you can see, even down here, they don't, they don't waste any amount of space in this coach. You've got places you can keep different size cups, large water bottles, whatever it may be that you'd like to have in this RV. And then of course, uh, your, your lane tracking package again is new for this year. Uh, these are power mirrors here on the top. These are going to be manually adjusted down below. Um, and then you'll see here, look at this lighting system. This Xenon headlight system is so attractive. They've also come in into 2023. They've given us a nice black grill, uh, you know, and so what a great coach. Um, again, this is the Winnebago Echo. It's a 2023. This is uh, for, uh, for Danielle, Julian, and Jojo. I can't wait to see you guys making memories. I love to get your photos while you're on the road. Um, I applaud you for your patience and waiting for your Echo to come in. Uh, we're so happy to be able to bring it to you here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, my name again is Katie O'Neill. I do a video every Monday uh, at about 10.30. Uh, today's a little extra special because we had two to get in this week. Uh, but please let me know how I can help you. All of my contact information is down below on this video. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. You can text me. Uh, you can call me. Let me know what I can do to help get you on the road and get you camping. Thank you so much for tuning in.